Welcome ladies and gentlemen, a Mercedes kind of sentiment, luxury and trust in me to honor the free we all should be in. Sees my sundial burst into yin and yang, right and left, me and you. I'll put it with no driver or a screw. See, I did undo all Tonight, that. Tonight, I'm going to be eating chicken tacos, but I do not want to use regular tortillas. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how I make my tortillas out of cauliflower. I got this recipe off of Pinterest, then think it was gonna taste too good, ended up taking tasting delicious, you guys. Man, I did not know that they were gonna taste the way that they taste. I now prefer them over regular tortillas. So if you wanna know how to make this recipe, stay okay, tuned. Okay, for this recipe, we are gonna have two servings of egg whites and two whole eggs. A whole head of cauliflower and whatever seasonings you prefer to put in yours I'm gonna use garlic salt pepper sea salt and some um, taco seasoning okay here we are just going to cut up the cauliflower um, the first thing I do is to take off that hind part the part in the back and then I proceed to cut the cauliflower in fours and then after that, I break the fours down into the cauliflower florets. And what I'm going to do is to put all of those in the um, food processor and blend it up. Now, if you don't have a food processor, you can use a hand grater. That just takes an extremely long amount of time. But hey, if you have the time to do that or if you don't have one and you really want to make these, it can be done that way. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all a little bit of the process, but I just put mine on chop. Chop it up. You might have to stop it and kind of mix it up a little bit so you can get the other chunks. Not like that though. And not like that. But what I'm trying to do is mix it up so it will grab the bigger chunks. I'm going to finish blending this up and then I'll show y'all the results. Once you get finished um, blending it up, and if you don't have a food processor, you can also use a cheese grater or some type of hand grater. It's just going to take you a lot longer. Now what I've done is I have taken the blade out and took the mixture, the chopped up cauliflower cauliflower off the blade, off of the, I'm sorry y'all, off of the container. And this is the consistency, what it looks like after it has been blended up. We're going to take that and just dump it in your bowl. Get all that goodness in there. Put it in your bowl. Let me show you. Put it in your bowl.
Bam. So now that that's in your bowl, what you want to do is add a fourth of a cup of water. Mix that in and around the situation. Once you've done that, get a top to cover it. I don't have a top, so I'm going to... Bam! That's my top, y'all. Bam! Okay, now I'm going to take this and put this in the microwave for five minutes, you guys, to steam it. Be back right after five minutes after it is done steaming. Okay, the cauliflower is done steaming. What I'm going to do is I'll place the towel over a bowl. And be careful, you guys, because this bowl just came out the microwave. It will be hot. I just have a high tolerance for heat. But anyhow, anywho, put it, dump it into the towel. And it's probably best to let it cool off a little bit because it is extremely hot to the touch. Putting this in here. Okay, so once that is done, you want to get all of it. You want to gather up your towel like so and just begin to squeeze. You see all that water coming out? You want to squeeze all that water out of the cauliflower. And it is hot, y'all. I don't know if you can see the steam coming off so you might want to let when you pull it out the microwave let it kind of cool off before you do this step if you don't have a high tolerance for heat just trying to get as much of that water out and it is hot Okay, I'm going to finish squeezing this out, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I am done squeezing the water. I just want to show you how much water I squeezed out of this cauliflower. That is way more than the fourth of a cup that I put in there. Now, when you finish squeezing that out... You want to put it back. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. You want to put it back, open the towel up. And it's going to have a doughy consistency. And put it back in the bowl. As much of it as possible. I'm not going to worry about the rest. That's good enough. Now once that's done, you can go and add your egg whites and your egg and your seasoning. So I'm going to add the egg whites. One whole egg. Another whole egg and my seasoning. I'm a person who is not shy to season their food, so I don't track my seasonings. I just season how I like my stuff seasoned. So I put some pepper in there, some salt in there. Bam! Some garlic salt. Bam, bam. And then I have some, a little bit of McCormick's taco seasoning. I'm not going to put much. Just enough. Bam. I'm going to mix all this together. And then I'm going to show you the consistency of it all. Once I get it mixed together.
I'm always trying to get creative with my food. You know, when you are on a journey and you have been journeying along for a long time, you get tired of the same old, same old, same old, same old. So, try to get creative so I can keep everything interesting to my palate or my taste buds. I'm trying to sound all professional. Okay, so bam, there you go. That is the consistency that it will be. Now, I am going to take this over to the cookie sheets. And I will let you see how I actually get them into the pan. I'm I right have back. preheated my oven to 375. And I'm going to spray down these sheets, baking trays. Mix that up a little bit more. Seeing some suspect pieces. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit in my hand and just pop it on here. Once it's on here, I am going to shape it and flatten it out. Feel like you need a little bit more? Just put a little bit more on there. Take that piece out. That's a piece that wasn't blended too well. And you just make them as big as <clears throat> you want them. I think I want mine about hmm, I'll say bam, about that big. That's that's big enough. Put another one right here. Same process. this situation on over here like that there and you pat them out as thin as you want them or as thick as you want them want them and you guys you can also use the same recipe to make a pizza crust for a pizza works the same way This is the last one. Once I get this one done, I'm going to put them in the oven. The oven has been preheating on 475. And I'm going to leave it in there for 25 minutes. Now, I will go back and check halfway through to see if I need to do anything. Or just to check on the progress of it. But it takes about, depending on your oven, mine, about 25 minutes. So, once they are out of the oven, I will be back. Stay tuned. Alrighty, they are done. They are out of the oven. Um, for some reason, these two stuck to the pan. So, this is what they're supposed to look like on the bottom. These are the, the tortilla shells. They are very good, <laughs> scrumptious. Telling y'all, these stuck to the pan so you see how the bottoms the inside are looking but that's okay because what I'm going to do is use that for the um, inside it's all right they stuck to the pan but that's okay we still gonna make it do what it do now once I get all my fixings on the inside I got some um I went to HEB and got some chicken, some fajita chicken breasts, and they usually go on the grill, but I just cooked mine in the oven, and then I just sliced them up real good. I'm going to put some of that chicken in there. I'm going to put some 2% uh, fat. Uh, Mexican cheese in there and I'm going to put some fat free sour cream and I'm going to put some salsa and I'm going to show you how it looks and how easy I mean y'all these are an excellent idea guilt free this is cauliflower y'all this is like eating a whole head of cauliflower because guess what I have the macros left to eat all of these and these are about seven and a half 
grams of carbs that's and they're clean carbs they're complex carbohydrates so guess what's going to happen they're going to run straight through you no guilt no nothing so basically you're eating your vegetable in with your taco i mean man how smart is that anyway i'm gonna come back when i have everything in there and show you how it looks okay you guys this is the finished product as you can see i have already started in on one and they are delicious i'm smacking because i just took a bite delicious good y'all should definitely definitely try these cauliflower tortillas until next time, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Peace.